officially is the start of International Dark Sky Week. And we know that we have a lot of dark sky communities yeah. here in Arizona, 19 of them. And Tucson is very special because it's actually um, home of the International Dark Sky Association. Exactly. If you didn't know that. So now, okay, when you first came to Tucson, did you notice? Because it was one of the first things I noticed. Yeah. I was like, it's so dark. It There's is not a lot of street lights, which is why it's great for stargazing. We are that dark sky community, but yeah, yeah noticeably dark. To like star pass at night, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm fighting for my life out here because yeah. it is so dark. <laughs> it is very dark, it is but very dark. great news for all those folks who love to just stargaze. Yeah, and there's a lot of places aside from here at home that you can go out and look at the skies and the dark skies this next week. So we spoke with Josh Coddington, who is the Director of Communications PIO for the Arizona Office of Tourism. And he showed us, aside from all the different places that you can go, mm -hmm. some beautiful pictures of what you can expect yeah. if you are heading out to celebrate International Dark Sky Week. So we wanna go ahead and let you listen in on his interview and see some of these pictures, because they're very impressive. It's International Dark Sky Week, which is really awesome for Arizona uh, because Arizona has so many amazing places to go check out dark skies, and especially in southern Arizona. Tucson is a great place to go check out the night skies uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, one of my favorite reasons is that the International Dark Sky Association, uh, which actually started at International Dark Sky Week, was founded in Tucson because of its amazing uh, ability for people to see the dark skies there. So it's really a spectacular place uh, to view dark skies out in the desert or wherever you may be able to do it. Uh, another reason why Tucson is great is just the dedication to uh, astronomy and studying, studying the night sky that uh, really prevails throughout Southern Arizona and Tucson. So it's really just uh, a special place and a great place uh, for viewing dark skies. So a great place to check out dark skies right by Tucson is at Oracle State Park. Now Oracle State Park is just on the other side of the Santa Catalina Mountains from Tucson, which is actually one of the keys to it being such a great place because the mountains actually block the light from Tucson and so that leaves a very clear and very dark skies above Oracle State Park. Uh, so that is really a, a, a great reason. And um, Oracle State Park also does what are called star parties where they're actually dedicated to the night sky. Um, and when they do that, they actually bring out astronomers from the Tucson Amateur Astronomy Association who come out, bring their telescopes, and uh, they let the public use them. They give talks. They answer questions. Uh, so it's really just an amazing experience at that park to view dark skies. So another great place to see dark skies in Arizona is Picacho Peak State Park, which is just uh, up the road from Tucson. And what's really cool about this one, especially if you go this time of year, is that they both have wildflowers uh, still from the spring. And then you stay at night and uh, you can get a uh, stargazing session from one of the dark uh, one of the rangers at the park. And that's a 45 minute session. Uh, they sit you out there. And I think it's really cool just to see the backdrop of Picacho Peak against the night sky. Uh, the ranger there really educates you on uh, stars, constellations, uh, how uh, ancient peoples use the constellations. So it's really just a, a neat thing to do. And all you have to do is bring a blanket and your curiosity. So another great place for seeing dark skies in Arizona is Sedona, if you want to take a little road trip from Tucson. Uh, Sedona is a spectacular dark sky place uh, because they have these great uh, trails where you can go to at night to see the dark skies. So I recommend getting uh, Sedona's Secret 7 Stargazing Guide, which gives you some ideas for trails, trailheads that you can go to at night where you can really see some great, uh, great dark skies at night and see the, see the stars. Uh, so it's, it's really uh, a cool way to do it and a cool way to, to navigate that. Being able to view the night sky without uh, a lot of light blocking it out is really becoming a rarer thing um, across all the developed world, but especially in the U.S. And so taking the time to not only go out and view the dark skies, but also to think about how we maintain the dark skies uh, is also something that I definitely recommend people think about. Um, and one of the ways to really 
uh, have that close to your heart is to go out and view the dark skies because it's like many things or many of our great places to visit in Arizona is that you don't really get it until you go out and do it. Now, if you would like to learn more information, a really good place that you can start is the Arizona um, Office of Tourism website. That's visit Arizona.com um, and then places dark skies. So if you head to their website, it'll tell you a little bit about dark sky communities, show you a little bit of a video. Pretty. I know, so gorgeous. It'll also kind of show you kind of the history behind it, how Arizona became a place that is known for its dark skies, some pictures, some of those photos that we showed you, and then also some of the certified dark, dark sky parks. So you can see that whole list, kind of not around me, but there you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, so if you head to their website for more information, you can find places that you can go out and mm -hmm. celebrate dark sky week and just learn a little bit more about it. We'll also have that up on our website, the full interview with Josh unscripted on 13 plus under the news tab on KLD.com. So just a really cool opportunity to celebrate one of the things yeah. that makes Arizona so great. Such an awesome time. Yeah, very cool. And what he said that he loves specifically about, um, we'll actually click on the video just so you can see it real quick. He's like, I love that the International Dark Sky Week is kind of picking up on that girl dad thing. So it's a picture so of a cute. dad and his daughter looking up at the night sky. So if you are a girl dad, a perfect opportunity to get out, see the dark skies and talk to her a little bit about space. So very, very cool. Again, it'll all be up on our website. KLD.